Hi guys. Um, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of him. There he is there. His name is William Jones. He's not alive anymore. He lived, he lived a couple hundred years ago, so he's not alive right now. Um, but he's my friend. And I want to try and answer uh, four questions about him. And I made a little list for myself. So that's what I'm looking at to make sure I don't miss something. Um, why do I want you to meet him? How did I meet him? Why do I like him? And how do you do it? I'll explain what I mean by doing it at the end. Um, why do I want you to meet him? I want you to meet him because I want you to get an idea of how grown-ups read and what's so good about reading since a lot of you are going next year going to go to kindergarten and that's what a lot of kindergarten is about it's about learning to read and learn to write so I guess this is one answer to uh, if you were to ask, well, we spend a lot of time in school reading and writing, other things too, but a lot of time learning how to read and how to write. Well, what's so good about it? I think this is sort of my answer to what's so good about it, or one thing that's good about it. So I want you to meet my friend William Jones because I want to show you how authors or people who write um, can sort of be your friend. Not like entirely like a real friend who plays with you, but a lot like a real friend. So that's why I want you to meet him because even though I've never met him and I never will meet him, I think about him as my friend. So that's why I want you to meet him. What was next? How did I meet him? I met him through a book. Uh, um, you, 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 you can go to libraries and get books and the library in Berkeley has a little store, um, has a store in one of the libraries, but it also has another store uh, on Channing Street, Channing and Telegraph. And when they take books out of the library, for some reason, either they've got a little bit old or someone has written, scribbled a little bit in them, or, or just nobody is borrowing them very much, they take some of the library books and they put them in a store. You can go to the store and you can buy them there, even though they used to be library books. So, and the story is called The Friends of the Berkeley Public Library. And I go there a lot to look for things to read. So one time I went there and I found this book. No cover on it, looks kind of boring from the outside. And it says, More English Diaries. And when I saw the title, I thought, oh, that's interesting, diaries. Diaries are a kind of book. Diaries are just, if someone writes down um, things about themselves, what they think, what they did, what they want to do, just a book where people write their own thoughts, and usually every day, but not always. And I kind of keep a diary. I kind of write down, I write down stuff that I think. So I thought, ooh, that's interesting. Let's see. And um, so I took it home, and I found out what it is. It wasn't it wasn't by the one guy. 
that it was by this guy named Pon. His last name is Ponsonby, and he was interested in diaries, and he wanted to know more about them. So he started reading lots of other people's diaries. Somewhere I've forgotten who, forgotten who said it, but somebody said, "As soon as you, as soon as you get a dog, you become interested in other people's dogs." So this guy. He became interested. He kept a diary. So he wanted to find out, well, what are, how do other people keep their diaries? I wonder how they do it. Maybe I'll get some ideas for them, from them. So he started reading other people's diaries, other people who write down what they think. Um, and then after he would read a diary, he, he would say what he thought about it. And he started getting a bunch of people whose diaries he'd read and what he thought, was that good? Was that interesting? Was that not interesting? Do I like it? Did I not like it? And then he put it together in this book. And there's a list of, there's a list of the people's diaries that he read. And when I read this, I found it pretty interesting. People do some different things, some things that I do and some things I wouldn't have thought of doing. And there was one particular diarist in here that I really liked. His name was William Jones. Let's see, he's right. William Jones. Okay. So this is how I found out about William Jones. Nobody told him about told me about him. Um, but I found out about it from this book, and it's something about something curious to me how. A person cannot be there anymore. They're not alive anymore. But because they have written something, because they put their words onto a surface, it happens to be paper, books are just pieces of paper, these little black marks, these little black marks, all they are is little black marks that happen to carry with the carry the talking of somebody else the speech of somebody else what they said you can't hear their voice but if you know how to read basically what you can do is you can hear someone talking to you even though they're not there so it's very curious to me that by Turning these pages, about 14 pages after 14 pages of somebody writing about William Jones. This isn't William Jones's actual words. It's somebody else saying what they think about his diary. And after just 14 pages, I feel like I've met somebody. And that person is really interesting. And I feel like, ooh, I want to know them better. I already like them somehow. It's very much like when you actually meet somebody and you just like them. Or you suddenly, you, uh, they really come to your attention. Uh, I remember a couple weeks, maybe three, four weeks ago, um, Jazzy, when Jazzy first came to CCC, and she was playing in the on the hill, and she was inside the climbing structure. Do in the inside the climbing structure. Oh no, she was on top of the climbing structure, and she had climbed down from the top, and she was hanging inside the dome, and she hadn't done that before, and she was a little nervous about it, and she asked, "Is some can somebody hold me? Can some?" And Berk, who was nearby gently put his arms around Jazzy from behind and held her. And when Jazzy dropped, boom, she came down. She was not nervous anymore. She, oh, that's okay, I can do that. And then she looked at Berk, Berk, and thought, ooh, that was nice of you. And she wanted to play with him. I don't know if you remember that, Jazzy. I don't know if you remember that, Berk. But I was watching, I was going, oh, I think Jazzy's found a new friend right away. So to me, it was like meeting a new person like that. I wanted to know William Jones better. What's he like? And
and I got that feeling as I was reading somebody talking about him, but also in writing. So I've made a couple little dots on the side of the page. Here, On this very first page, as I was learning about who this guy was, something, a couple of things hit me. First thing that hit me was just a little ways down, the guy who's writing this book about the diary said, William Jones was a great diarist. And I thought, really? I've never heard of him. It's not saying that much, but I've never heard. I've heard of other great diarists, but I hadn't heard of William Jones. Before. Is he really a great diarist? Let's see. I'm, I'm, now I'm curious. If this person says that he's a great diarist, I want to know a little bit more. And then just a little further down the page, actually right after that, he says, well, what is a great diarist? A great diarist doesn't have to write about important things or famous people. A great diarist just has to, well, let's see what he says. What matters is the attitude of mind and powers of perception and expression of the writer. That's sort of saying it matters like the personality of a person, what they're like, how they say things, how they see the world, how they act. Sort of the things that matter to you when you're picking a friend to play with. You want a friend who's nice, who listens to you, who has kind of funny, interesting ideas, who likes the same thing you do who like, that you just like to be with. So I thought, well, that's right about a diarist, let's, but let's find out what about him? What about William Jones? And then just a little bit after that, he says, in the middle of a sentence, he says uh, that um, he kept William Jones, this diarist, he kept a special slate by his bedside. I thought, hmm. That's interesting. I wonder what that's about. And then before the bottom of the page, he also says he had something called, he made for himself a special diary called a book of domestic lamentations. What an interesting title, a book of lamentations, a book of domestic lamentations. That means it was about things at his own home in his own at home that mm, gave him some troubles or maybe made him sad or upset him or that concerned him that he wanted to figure out and make better. So I thought, that's very interesting. I would like to know what's in, what that is about. Turn the page, I'm only one page in and I'm like, this guy's interesting. I wanna know him better. See if I like him even more. Um, so on the very on the very second page, one, two is a list of some things that he says about writing a diary, which I agree with since I write a diary. He I'll just read one. I'll just read one. The good effects arising from my frequent use of my diary are hardly to be imagined. It leads to reflection and self-converse which is not one of the least among its good effects. It's basically just saying, I really like writing a diary. It really helps me. I like it a lot. Um, so that made me very interested. He sounds like he likes it like I like it. I found somebody who likes something, the same thing that I like, which is all of these people who write a diary, but somehow he's standing out. It's like, I want to know more about you. Um, so that's how I got to know him, by writing, by someone else who was interested in him and wrote something about it. So that I wanted to read his diary. What's it, what's, what's it really like? What's the whole thing like? So I went to the library and the Berkeley Public Library didn't have it. They didn't have a copy of his, his, uh, I think I'm gonna need to stop here and start a new, a new video because usually they, I'm going to stop here and then continue and make another video because I've run out of time.